and let us all that we can to build a better future. All right, we got to talk about Peter Dow and Dr. Cornell West campaign. What to say about it that hasn't been said already, and you better believe that the post-duopoly show, we're going to talk about it as well. Peter Dow, the Dow effect. What is it? What did he do? How did he fundamentally change the campaign? Well, looking at Dr. West's campaign, he started off with the People's Party. And through the help and intervention of Chris Hedges, uh, Dr. West moved to the Green Party. Now, the Green Party has its own fair share of problems. Truly, they do. But they did have ballot access in 18 states. Now, would they have had an uphill climb to secure ballot access? Yes. Um, Are there some internal problems within the Green Party? Absolutely. Which explains so much about why they never gain traction and the lackluster leadership that's part of the Green Party. Uh, However, um, in the aftermath of Dr. Cornell West being on the Jimmy Dore show, it broke to many people about a month and a half ago that Peter Dow, the Peter Dow, would be the campaign manager for Dr. West pushing forward. And because of that, just a few weeks later, Dr. West left the Green Party and declared himself to be an independent candidate. Now, on paper, that sounds great, and that's something I do support. However, we don't have the infrastructure necessary to see a true independent non-affiliate candidate run for office. The infrastructure needed for that to make that happen is for all states to be citizen ballot initiative states. And then number two, all said citizens call for a citizen ballot initiative in all 50 states to call for the abolishment of all political parties. We're nowhere near the starting line to set up something like that. And because of that, Cornell West has currently, as it stands right now, and anything can change, and it can, ballot access is zero. So that's going to be the fight. And just a few days ago, Cornell West campaign manager says he's leaving the job. So presidential candidate, Dr. Cornell West campaign manager said he has departed the team, a high level shakeup for the Democrat turned independence insurgent bid. Um, wow. Peter Dow, a progressive progressive strategist and ally of Dr. West announced on X Twitter, formerly known as Twitter, that he is experiencing extreme stress after working on two separate White House campaigns during the 2024 cycle and personal trauma from the uh, Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Uh, Dow previously worked for Marianne Williamson's Democratic primary campaign against President Biden. He cited experiencing ongoing emotional distress in the aftermath of the Hamas attack on Israel, the still unfolding conflict in Gaza, and the administration's response. To which he said, I'm so tired of human violence and brutality. I'm so tired of the U.S. enabling and supporting it. And he goes on to say, my PTSD from growing up in Beirut under the constant bombardment is being triggered in a big way by this genocide. He wrote, I'm going to take time off and pray on everything. Now, it's no joke that someone could be suffering from PTSD. However, I'm calling BS on this, okay? This is the second time Peter Dow left the campaign under weird and suspicious personal circumstances. Now, perhaps they're true. Okay, whatever. However, 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 if this is something that's truly triggering you, you would maybe have time to personally reflect. Maybe do some soul searching for yourself and not go on the internet because the internet is one big cesspool. It could be a beautiful place, but it's also a cesspool. But since the aftermath of making that announcement over the weekend, Peter Dow decided to rage tweet all over Twitter and especially project, project his anger towards his critics, especially those in independent media going after due dissidents, going after Jimmy Dore, criticizing everyone that was calling him out for the fact that Peter Dow more or less is, if he's not sabotaging Dr. Cornell West's campaign, he sure as hell did a piss poor job in leading it. Now, 
Dow said that he helped the campaign recover financially, which is okay, fine. He helped out their finances. However, ballot access, what else did you do in a month and a half? I saw these interviews that he did with Tim Black, Brianna Joy Gray, and Savvy Sabs. And what happened during those interviews? He was saying how tough it is to be a campaign manager and how he knows the business. This is the same dude, Peter Dow, who is Hillary Clinton's campaign manager. This is the same dude, same individual who kept on smearing and was leading the charge, if not maybe in the background, smearing, slandering, progressives, activists, anyone that was with Bernie Sanders or voted for Dr. Jill Stein. Yet somehow, I guess he had a change of character. Now, if that's true, great, wonderful character development. But people had every right to say, wait a minute, why is Dr. West bringing this individual of all the people to be your new campaign manager? Who is advising you? Jimmy Dore is correct on this. Who is advising you, Dr. Cornell West? And if this was truly Dr. Cornell West's decision, these are terrible tactics. So here's a tweet from Peter Dow. To my friends, thanks for checking on me. I'm in good health. After Dr. Cornell West posted that I left his campaign because of health issues, lots of friends and family have expressed concern. I'm physically 100% healthy, just burned out from an uh, exceptionally intense year, including my mom being in hospice. Apologies for that. Sorry that's happening. And the Gaza genocide is triggering my PTSD from my childhood under bombardment in Beirut. Seeing children torn apart by bombs is soul-crushing. I condemn all violence against women and children. I'm outraged by the U.S. support for collective punishment, a war crime against the Palestinians. Uh, I've dedicated 2023-2024 to taking on warmongering duopoly. And in service of that objective, I've helped candidates and campaigns restructure and stabilize their finances. Which I say that is bull. Okay, Marianne's campaign is nothing more than a glorified book tour. And as for Dr. Cornell West, um, did you secure any ballot access? Did you help lay the foundations for that? Because that's something an independent candidate's going to have to do. I've mentioned so many times what an independent or third-party candidate has to do to get on the ballot here in Illinois. And I will not apologize because we got to call this out. And while I identify with anarchism, thus further to the left of the candidates, which is yourself projecting here. I don't believe electoralism is a solution without direct action. I intend to continue to do everything I can politically to pursue real democracy where voters have a range of choices, not just two corporate owned ones. I'm honored to share this journey with you. Okay, whatever. That's what he's saying. However, he then decided to go after individuals, people calling him out and criticizing him. Curious. Does my rejection of money from Nazi col uh, collector billionaires make my exit strategy right or stage left? And what about my taking the campaign from net negative cash and 4% in the polls to 100K in cash on hand and 9% in the polls? What nefarious motives are those, LOL? Now, again, JB, do dissidents, hard lens media, Jimmy Dore have every right, RBN, everyone in independent media, has a right to be critical of you. He goes on to say, Dear AOC, will you now rescind your endorsement of Joe Biden? It would send a powerful message. Cutting off all communication. Of course, AOC is talking about how it's unacceptable what's happening there. You got two hypocrites calling each other out. And now let's get to the meat of the matter. And you better believe we'll be talking about this in the post duopoly show. You better believe that we will. Here's what's happening as it stands right now and should enrage all of you. Due dissidents. They responded to Peter Dow, who was being critical of JB's video. I thought you quit because you needed time to pray, not to bitch at left wing commentators who rightly predicted a Cornell's campaign would nosedive as soon as you got involved. Great, Peter. You got it at 9%, 100K in cash. Can the campaign do that going forward? Because I don't see how. What did you do? What earth-shattering moment did you do to really help out Dr. Cornell West? Because, again, he goes on to say, you're left-wing in the sense of denying that a prominent black scholar makes his own decisions about his campaign while minimizing my PTSD. You're projecting. You're self-grandizing yourself right now. If you truly are going through something, maybe it's best to unplug yourself from social media. Maybe it's not too good for you, Peter. Fact, 
His campaign was in debt when I joined and had 100K plus when I left. And his highest poll numbers were under my watch. So get the F out of here. That's what he's trying to say here. To which we can now go ahead and pull up this one. When I work on campaigns, my tweets represent them. So I held my tongue when people who once supported Obama gave me shite about my Hillary support seven years ago, smeared me, questioned my motives, and tried to gatekeep my leftism. But now I can speak freely and call out their BS. So in other words, maybe our criticism got the better of Peter. Maybe Peter got a little thin-skinned and couldn't handle himself in the game. I want to give a shout-out to the live stream chat here as well. Uh, Miss Witchy Perfect says, he came, he saw, and he left, LOL. <laughs> oh, it says, we came, we saw, he left. That's right, exactly, exactly, exactly. Robert Brown says, I had skepticism on Dr. Cornell West from the get-go. It was designed to go nowhere. True. True. Very true. And, uh, of course, everyone else is saying he's still pretending nothing happened. So what happened exactly? Again, we have to bring up 2016. Peter Dow was a campaign manager for Hillary Clinton. And maybe he has PTSD for the fact that Hillary Clinton lost in 2016. You know, you're a campaign manager for the Hillary Clinton campaign. Everyone in corporate media, everyone in the political establishment assumed and were betting on Hillary Clinton to win. I And theoretically, 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 she did have everything going for her. Kind of, sort of, maybe she should have kind of won. But that's not what happened because Hillary Clinton is such a piss poor individual. She is a weak individual. No one could relate to her. No one liked her. So it should come as no surprise that Donald Trump defeated her with ease. Absolute ease. And you only can imagine if you're the campaign manager for somebody as prominent as Hillary Clinton, you're probably banging your head against the wall. How did I F up? Because let's face it, there was a, so much in favor for Hillary Clinton by the media, by the establishment. But it all upended itself because nothing is set in stone in politics. Nothing ever will be. And here he is, so angry that he wants to call out people who criticized him. Hard Lens, Dude Dissidents, RBN, Jimmy Dore Show, and everybody else. Because we cannot forget. I also want to pull this up here. Where Peter Dow said, The wild irony is that for all the crap I get about 2016... I was right about Bernie being part of the establishment. Listen, this is this was done. This was done on October 29th, yesterday, and of course we here at Hard Lens Media said you were with Clinton in 2016. So what the f are you saying? Bernie was a part of this. You were part of Hil you were part of Hillary Clinton's campaign. You were part of the establishment too, buddy. Peter, Peter. Peter then goes on to say. The ops and infiltrators are the ones who use me for clicks to try and take down Cornell West. We, you know who you are. And no, no, you're projecting. What exactly have you done to secure ballot access or anything more than the one and a half months you were with West uh, campaign? Stop projecting and the criticism is valid against you. It is. And he goes on to say, so effing sick of the clowns and cowards who use me for clicks to attack Cornell West. They don't have the courage to admit they really wanted to tear him down. Agitators and ops. That's what they are, which is why they accuse me of it. Pure projection. So let's go ahead and return back to the tweet that Do Dissidents gave to Peter. Do Dissidents. I thought you quit because you needed time to pray, not bitch at left-wing commentators who rightly predicted that Cornell West campaign would nosedive as soon as you got involved. And of course, Peter decides to do this, decides to do his little fact-checking. So shout out to Jimmy Dore. Fact, before you joined Cornell West campaign, he had ballot access in 18 states. That was when he was with the Green Party. After you, he has ballot access in zero states. That was your true mission, and everyone sees it now. Tell Hurley and the DNC hello from all of us. Hashtag the infiltrator, which is what he is. And, of course, he goes on to say, why don't you just admit you wanted a job as advisor for West? You didn't get it instead of using me as a bank shot to lash out at him and have the guts to go after him directly. But my goodness, my goodness. He goes on to say again, fact, you're deflecting from your own BS, which is to treat Cornell West like somebody who doesn't have a mind of his own. Now, if Dr. Cornell West truly picked you, 
I question Dr. Cornell's ability to actually read people. My results of the campaign speak for themselves. After a month and a half, no, they don't. They're actual facts, not the filth you spewed at me for a decade for clicks. Well, you were part of the Hillary Clinton campaign, buddy. There's a reason why people rightly so view you as freaking suspicion. Goes on to say, fact, you don't know a thing about me, but I clearly live rent-free in your head. If he lived, if listen, 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 Peter, Peter. If what Jimmy Dore said you said that triggered you so much, go on his show. Go on Jimmy Dore's show and actually have the courage to step up and speak to him. But instead, you're not. You're not doing that at all. What you're doing is raging out and screaming at people because they were correct in their assessment about you and what you would do to the Dr. Corner West campaign. I had a lot of hope for Dr. Cornell West campaign. I truly did. Maybe it would be a sign for a new push forward for an independent movement, third parties, etc. My idealism, I didn't know I had any left. But after Dr. Cornell West picked you, after your years, years of being on the wrong side and also doing a terrible job being a campaign manager on top of that, I have to wonder what lies in store for the future for Dr. West's campaign? Can it gain momentum? It went from 18 states ballot access to now a whopping zero. And it's one thing to say you stabilize the campaign's finances. Fine. But after that, what next? Where will Peter Dow go next? The Peter Dow po podcast? The Dow effect? Is that what you're going to do now? Go on social media? Rage tweet at everyone? Because they were right in their assessment of you. If if this triggers you so much, why not go on the Jimmy Dore show? Defend your actions. You went on Tim Black's show, Savvy Sab show, Brianna Joy Gray, and you stood firm on your ground saying how tough it is to be a campaign manager and what you can do. But when the going got tough, now what you quit? You did that for Marianne Williamson's campaign as well. What is your overall goal? To be part of a campaign? Maybe do a little self-sabotage and that's it. Or either that, maybe you just don't know what you're doing. A after your huge loss in 2016, that has to impact somebody mentally, emotionally, physically. But this is somebody who has to rage tweet and has to get onto social media. If you are recovering or going through some trauma, it's best to unplug yourself from social media. It's not good for you. And then you start projecting and screaming, and flailing at everyone. It's time for you to be a little bit better. Or maybe it's time to just to walk away from politics as a whole. Because what you are contributing is an absolute zero, net zero, to the conversation. So all the people who called you out, when you joined the campaign, you have proved them not only correct, but your actions and statements on Twitter are also, again, further evidence about why no one should it have you on as a campaign manager?